Hello everybody out on YouTube, this is Michael the Geek for Life with another Star Trek Starship review from the Eagle Moss Collection and this is issue number 11, USS Reliance, of course famously seen in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. So um, I'm going to have to bring the model out without it on, without being on its stand because this one slides off of the stand. So, like, I can barely get it to just stay there for that. And I have to lean it back for that. If I were to... Yeah, it's already off. I mean, even sliding it around on, like, your shelf or something, it'll slide off. In fact, you can probably see right there at some paint from the underside of the model. You can't see it on the model, luckily. So that's why I give a little bit of forgiveness on that. But, like, even just sliding it around on the shelf, it does not hold. And it doesn't seem like there's any way, reason why it shouldn't. Because it looks like it should be able to clip in there pretty easily. Maybe it's just mine. I don't know if anybody else out there has this particular model. And is having a similar issue. But I decided not to order a replacement. Just in case it is just this model. Like the whole, all of the Reliance are the same way. So anyway, this review will be without the ship on the base. Because it will absolutely not stay there. Except, like if I leave it on the shelf and don't move it. Don't touch it. Don't breathe on it it'll stay but any other circumstance it just won't so the USS Reliance show it to you there a little bit on the top you can see there's a lot of good detailing on there the pen striping and so forth the Aztecing on the hull uh, the underside there uh, let's see you see the roll bar on top nice separation there uh, the shuttle bays are numbered just like they're supposed to be uh, the warp nacelles look really good. They got that transparent blue plastic on it. Uh, it looks like on the underside too, that right there, that's transparent blue plastic as well. Uh, it does seem to be primarily metal. Everywhere I tap seems to feel met metallic. Metallic, sorry. Uh, the warp nacelles, I feel like those are plastic. Probably the roll bar too. So just the, the main section here is made of metal, which is pretty good. I mean, I don't have, I don't require the entire thing to be made out of metal. Um, it, it does actually, it turns out, and I found out about this inadvertently, hold up pretty well when it falls down. So it doesn't just like break every time it falls, which is really good for this model in particular. I'm going to see if there's a way I can find some way to hold it better to the stand without gluing it, because I really don't want to glue it. Nice profile shot there. It does look pretty much exactly like the one in the, sh in the movie, rather. Uh, the roll bar, I don't know if you can see it there. It does look like it dips down in the back, like it, it's like actually on an angle instead of just straight across. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch the movie to see if it's supposed to be like that. I should have probably done that before this review, but uh, yeah, I didn't. And let's see. A little bit of showing it off right here. And I side shot. It does look like a good model. I mean, they did a good job with it. it just, it is quite frustrating that it, it it is it holds to the base so poorly. Um, you know, I I've reviewed models up to this point where, yeah, you could I mean you could slide them around and everything, but I mean if you did anything major like turned it you know 90 degrees or something, it would fall off. But then again, these are for display purposes. You know, these aren't being advertised as toys. They're just supposed to be displayed up on a shelf somewhere, so they're not really supposed to move anyway. So you kind of give them a pass on that. But um, this one, and I know I keep harping on it, 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 it really is a problem that it just, it so easily comes out of the stand. I mean, like, even if there's, like, I don't know, a little vibration on the shelf or something, you know, it's something I've had to consider uh, where I display it. it. It is back here with the rest of them, but I had to put it in the back just in case it did fall off of the base, that it wouldn't go onto the floor. It would just go onto the shelf itself. Because if it fell onto the floor, it probably would break, and then I'd be out another 30, no, wait. yeah, about 30 bucks, I guess. It's like 23 plus shipping, so it'd probably be about 30, 32 bucks to get a new one. And I don't want to do that. So there is Reliant. Set it down there. And on to the magazine. Of course, as we saw at the beginning. And as per usual, how to fasten it to the stand, although I don't expect it to stay. Some stats on the ship itself. 
Sorry, I was just looking at it to make sure I was doing it right. I am. A uh, nice beauty shot. This one is in CG, so not a shot from the movie. And these are shots from the movie. Of course, the Miranda class has shown up in... Um, uh, it showed up all through Next Generation, Deep Space Nine. I don't think it was ever in Voyager, so we did get to see the class of ship show up more often, but of course this is specifically the Reliance and the Battle of the Mutara Nebula. And some nice shots of its profile, top, bottom, front, and back. And designing the Reliant, of course, as most of us Trekkies know, it was originally supposed to be the other way around, like that. But due to, I think it was a signature, I think the artist, or the designer rather, uh, signed it upside down. And so the, when it was shipped out for the model people to make, they thought it was the other way around, the way that we see it in the movie. And so that's just how they did it, and they just went with it. Oh, that's one page. And it looks like some shots of the model itself, the filming model. And building and filming the Reliant. And on screen appearances, of course, the Reliant was only ever in the Wrath of Khan. And our next issue is the Akira class. Oh, and a nice little top shot there. So, what do I think of this model? The model itself is actually really good. I mean, if, if I was just going by the model itself, I'd say it's a 5 out of 5. Excellent job, fantastic work. Of course, you can get Reliant models um, from different uh, other places. I mean, it's not the most common model you can get, but it, it's one of the ones you can definitely find other places. But I'm glad they included it in this. And they did a really good job sculpting it. Like I, I mean, it would have been a 5 out of 5 if it were just the model. But I am going to take off a point because this stand is ridiculous. It just it doesn't hold the model at all. And because, it, it, because it's like that, it increases the chance of the model breaking. And that's the real reason. It's annoying to have it fall out, but the chance that it's actually going to break and then you're going to be out that money and have to buy a replacement, assuming you can find one. I mean, if, if you buy it now and then like 10 years from now it breaks, you might have a really hard time finding one. And so that's going to be a critical thing to think about. But So I am going to take off a point for that. I'm going to make it a 4 out of 5 above average because the model itself, they did an excellent job with. So they're going to get... The four out of five for that but yeah I mean I really wish they had put a little bit more thought into the base and like I said it, it looks like it should work the way that they have it fastened in there it looks like it really should work it just it doesn't I don't know why maybe it's just mine if it is just mine like I said let me know if you got one of these and yours is working just great in which case I might just tap into the the geek budget and um, buy a different one and see if that works i've had to do that once or twice with models we'll get in i'll talk about those when i get to those i haven't had to do it with any of the ones i've reviewed yet so anyway that's my review for the uss reliant issue number 11 rating four out of five if you like this video feel free to subscribe hit the like button leave a comment i'll be sure to get back to you on that and if you would like to support my channel, or for that matter, any channel financially without having to dip into your own pocket, it turns out there is a way to do that, and it's through the advertisers. At the beginning of uh, most YouTube videos, you'll see a little advertisement video, a commercial, if you will, play. Um, if you wanted to help support that particular channel, you just watch at least 30 seconds of that video, or just let it play for 30 seconds. You don't have to watch it. Uh, and then you can skip it after that or you can watch the whole thing. It works just fine Or if you see a little banner ad appear at the bottom of the video You can click on that and that'll send a little bit of money um, From the advertisers to that youtuber and it's a really good way to financially support the youtubers that you like and help keep them around for a little while longer um, And hopefully I'm one of them uh, and I guess that'll do it. Thanks for watching um, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye